What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Uh, we about to get into this video. I'm not going to lie. The end of this video um, has everything to do with Jalea, CJ So Cool, his mama, and I don't really want to cover that, so we probably going to skip that part. All right, let's get into it. So congratulations to Essie. She recently announced that she has moved back to Houston. Now, if you guys didn't know, Armand is living in Houston now as well. So it's good to see that legacy can be closer to her dad. But now let's move on to. That's definitely a, a great thing um, because he was definitely missing that child. Uh Oh, I know y'all having a field day on that. Remember, I haven't been in none of this. I ain't, I have no idea <laughs> of what's been going on. Like, I'm talking no clue. So she moved back to Houston. Um, I'm assuming Armand lives in Houston because she moved back to Houston. Okay. That's all I got in that video. Let's go to the next one because I am not about to get into uh, them old ladies going back and forth. <laughs> I'm not doing it. So, Regina, All uh, right. was not happy with her relationship being blasted all over social media. Mm. She went onto Twitter and she stated, I've been so quiet and y'all still find a way to come for me. What's wrong with y'all? Like, it's sick. I said what the F I said and I'll say it again. Then she also goes on to say, literally sitting on the set wondering why I made the blogs about some BS, but they didn't report. I booked a role. Hey, Come I on, wanna ask, uh, I want to ask y'all a question. Not y'all. I want to ask some old people a question. How do it feel to like? I cannot. All y'all 25-year-olds that was calling niggas old when we was 30, when we just turned 30, y'all was calling us old. Now y'all 30. Y'all on the way to 30. Y'all still think we old? <laughs> Pass me my cane, boss. <laughs> y'all niggas, y'all really think 30 is old. That's crazy. I cannot wait till he turn 30. I can't wait. They hate on me, and then you see me, and I stay winning. Hold on, How say it again. I want to ask y'all a question. Not y'all. I want to ask some old people a question. How do it feel to, like, hate on me? And then you see me, and I stay winning. I ain't gonna lie. I'm trying to figure out why you keep responding to people and you winning. I, that's what I want to know. A nigga winning, you supposed to be out here balling like Jordan. If he if he say he winning, he out here getting it, grinding, doing whatever, the, whatever. Because I have no idea what this nigga's doing right now. But he out here getting it. That's what he said. Why in the hell do you have time for the old ladies? I just why? I need to know, okay? Like I wanna know how that feel. Like you praying on my downfall, but every time you see something, it's me winning. How that how that make y'all feel? I ain't gonna lie, I can't speak for none of the other old ladies. But what I do wanna say is. I'm happy everybody out here getting money. Now, it looks like all the YouTubers have gone to Snapchat. Don't know if he won, but I'll definitely follow Clarence and Queen. They out here getting their money. That nigga got a Bentley truck. And y'all know I've been reacting to them since 2017. So, oh, I have no problem with saying ball out, nigga. Niggas getting, I'm talking about that Snapchat bag. Stupid. I'm so happy they out here winning because YouTube was a struggle, okay? And um, shout out to other streams of revenue because I'm winning too, <laughs> okay? I may not be on Snapchat, but uh, yeah, that bag is coming in. I'm just happy that everybody's winning, okay? All the other aunties that's hating, stop hating on this man. I would never hate on anybody getting money. I, I love niggas getting money. For real, like, do that make y'all feel like like, that make I feel like, shit, I got to hate harder. harder. I'm going to be honest with you. Humbly, I done made more people money in a year, two years, than they ever made in their life. I was about to say, stop the cap. Um, But, you know, he ain't necessarily speaking to me. Because Krishan and Blueface made me 
a lot of money. Right after that nigga called me big back that and broke, right? I was like, bet. All right, so I'm going to just stop reacting to YouTubers, not because he told me to, but because I ain't got time for the crybaby shit. Girl, I was over it. So I went to Blueface and started talking about Blueface and Krishan because that the circus was circusing. And I'm going to just say they made me an amount of money that some people make in a lifetime. No cap. I got to say, Shout out to Blueface and Crush On. I say it all the time. I'm not going to ever stop reacting to them niggas. Okay? But, um, yeah, man, we all on YouTube. Everybody doing the same thing. Everybody got a job to do. Y'all get on Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, whatever. Say what you say. And then niggas get on YouTube and react to it. Or they post it. Then you retract and get mad that you said it. And they put it out there. God damn, that's crazy. Since the beginning, I, since I've been helping people, since 2017. And you know what? That's another thing that I've been helping people because Chris put them niggas on. I see why now. You know, I can't stand Sebastian, but I like Chris. Chris absolutely put all of them on. And shout out to him because don't get me wrong. Everybody was doing their thing on Vine. They had their numbers on um. Well, Vine, but they had their numbers on YouTube. These Him and Trey did, because, see, he always had somebody to do something with, right? After Chris and Queen helped them, then you started helping other people. But you got help. So I just don't, I, I don't understand how everybody forgets these things. Your help was Chris and Queen, and then all y'all came together. Jazz, Taylor Girl. Everybody up. Shout out to y'all because I ain't never been a hater in my damn life. But everybody gets help. So if you're not with people doing a, a bunch of content and if you're not with a person in a relationship or if you're not talking about drama, then you barely exist on the Internet unless you, you know, speed. That's just a different beast. OK, but like everybody helps somebody, you know, but, you know. Everybody got their own opinion. I'm I'm cool on the ignorant part. Into this tea with Carmen and Corey. Now, yesterday, Carmen posted a message on Instagram that read, "Everybody is not welcome to my home. That's my personal space. Is where I lay my head, gather my thoughts, gain my peace. If you come to my house, it's because I want you there. I never been big on company because all company may not be good company, and no negative." energy will disturb where I reside. So then shortly after that, Corey posts a photo in Carmen's house. As you can see, he did a black and white photo, but it appears to be the same type of rug that Carmen has in her living room. Child. Then Corey went live on social media to let it be known that yes, in fact, he was in Houston. And what happened when you take a nine hour? I went to Houston, right? I drove all the way to Houston. Literally, drove all the way to Houston. I was in Houston. I just want to say shout out to Corey. He put down in her comments, I like your edits. First of all, he knows that T-Room putting out the fact that he going to be on Love & Hip Hop Miami is free promotion. It's free as hell. Now, don't get me wrong. He's another one that will sit on the internet and just talk crazy about everybody because, you know, he feels some type of uh, feel some type of way about whatever, as he should. Cause sometimes everybody just come for Corey. But Corey be he wake up in the morning with it, okay? But it's free promotion. Everybody should think like Corey today. For what time we made it to Houston? We made it to Houston at one o'clock in the morning, we one. I was in Houston for nine hours. So I drove to Houston, which took ten hours. I was there for nine hours and hit the highway and came right back to Alabama. Then he goes on to post who's in my car right now. Then he states that sex after y'all fight be top tier. Uh, so now when he got back to Alabama, so he went live Toxic. again. Now he stated the person that he was with didn't want to speak to the camera, but everyone is assuming, of course, that it's Carmen. Yeah, 
All right, the person said they want to say hey to y'all right now, so. They don't, they, don't, they don't want to say hey to y'all right now. They just say they're going to cheer right now. They might say hey to y'all. It depends. I don't know. You know how, how they feel. Hey, man. Watch that. Anyway, that's what I was saying. Listen. So then that next day, Corey went live again to inform everyone that he will be on Love and Hip Hop Miami. I ain't gonna lie, that nigga Car got the best car he has in the game. Come in. Nothing, if he gone, I'm out of here. I'm back to Miami. I'm back to Miami, I go when I get done with this shit. I'm telling y'all now. Y'all must thought this shit was a joke. It depends on. Go I'm going to Miami, because I got a TV show. I'm on in Miami. I already told y'all. Y'all should know already. We don't love hip hop. So, yeah. Get I, that money. You hear me? I ain't been saying that. I'm happy for real, about for real it. Because I'm waiting on them to just send me all the shit I got to do. But we just did all our little interviews and all that shit already. Type shit. Shit lit. So according to Corey, they will be on Love and Hip Hop Miami, which is all making sense now as to why Carmen has been doing videos with people like Chaotic, who is on Love and Hip Hop. And remember when she had that big event in Atlanta and Scrappy and Erica Banks, other people that are on Love and Hip Hop were there as well. So now the connection is making that sense. That makes a whole now, lot Carmen's of sense. Carmen's management team has been putting in work. So Carmen did state that she wanted to be on TV. So here's their chance, which makes sense now why Corey has been dropping all this music. Now he's going to be on Love and Hip Hop. Now when Corey was on live, he did state that she sent me to the store for pads. Now people were like, who is she? Was it his assistant? Oh, no, ma'am. Shout out to them being on Love and Hip Hop. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below because the rest of this live is Corey getting Carmen pads. <laughs> okay? Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.